Hi everybody, it's Andy and welcome again to my office in Los Altos, California. I'm an attorney licensed to practice law in California as well as New York. In this video, I'm going to go over a free research resource that you can use if you have a situation that involves California employment law. Uh, now a while ago I put out a video uh, about California's jury instructions. Uh, and the idea behind that video was that a jury instruction is helpful when you're trying to translate something that happened to you in the real world. Uh, so, for example, somebody hit your car, somebody injured you, um, you know, somebody is not paying you on a contract where, you know, they're supposed to pay you. The jury instruction is very helpful for translating a real world occurrence into something that you can, uh, you know, pursue in court, for example. Uh, and the way, the way that the jury instruction does that is they, you know, provide you references to specific cases, specific statutes, and so on. Uh, now, the idea of something that translates, you know, a real-world occurrence into something that's, you know, usable in court, uh, that applies to today's research resource also. Uh, so the, um, I guess by way of introduction then, the research resource for today is called a California Wage Order. Uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and link the Wage Order website down below. Uh, the wage orders are free, you know, to download. They're available in multiple languages. Uh, so go ahead and take a look at those, and hopefully they should uh, help you out, uh, you know, with the situation that you're in. Uh, but as a way of background, then, I guess, uh, years and years ago, California used to have a uh, state agency called the Industrial Welfare Commission, uh, sometimes abbreviated IWC. Uh, so if you're looking, you know, doing research yourself and you see IWC, that's, you know, what it stands for. Uh, now, the Industrial Welfare Commission's job was to regulate what I would consider um, kind of the day-to-day -day concerns of, you know, workers in California. So this would be things like, you know, rest breaks, meal breaks, uh, minimum wage, you know, hours of employment, working conditions, uh, things like that. Now, the Industrial Welfare Commission is no longer around. However, the regulations, the rules that they put out still are. And those regulations and rules are called wage orders. Uh, now, those wage orders uh, today are still enforced by the state of California, except they're done so by an agency called the Division of Labor and Standards Enforcement, uh, oftentimes abbreviated DLSE, which, as always, I will go ahead and link uh, to their website down below. Uh, but the idea then is that a wage order, if you have questions about kind of, uh, you know, wages, hours, uh, breaks, etc., the wage order could be a good place for you to go to hopefully get that answer, or to get that question, rather, answered fairly quickly. Um, I, there's a, a pro and a con about the uh, wage orders, uh, which you can you know, probably tell based on the website that I linked down below. The pro, like I said, is that these wage orders are, um, you know, they're available in multiple languages, you know, Chinese, Vietnamese, Tagalog, Spanish, etc. Uh, so hopefully that makes the, the, uh, the wage order more available to people than uh, it otherwise would be if it was just in English. Uh, the wage orders themselves are a bit dense to read. Like they're not they're not long, but they are fairly dense in terms of the text and you know the information that's contained in them. Uh, but you know there are sections and headings and all that stuff. So hopefully they should be uh, you know finding your way. I guess navigating uh, should be fairly easy. Uh, the con here is that the wage orders are organized by industry. Uh, so if you check the website that I linked to down below, uh, you know, there's a wage order for the, um, you know, transportation industry, there's another one for farming, agriculture, there's one for manufacturing. Uh, if, based on what you do, um, you know, your job description kind of falls neatly into a category uh, that, you know, the wage orders are kind of demarcated in, uh, that's great. If, however, you work in an industry that is, um, kind of falls in between two classifications, uh, that's a little bit more complicated. So the thing is, you know, you can't tell whether or not you're strictly in, you know, agriculture or strictly in personal services and so on. So uh, in those cases, you know, it, it may be a good idea to just read, you know, all of the uh, wage orders that you think might apply to you. So you get an idea of what the worst case and the best case uh, is. So. Uh, hopefully all of that made sense. The takeaway from this video is that the wage orders are a free resource that you can use uh, to basically get up to speed and hopefully get your questions answered if you don't know something about California uh, employment law. Uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully that helped. Uh, go ahead and watch this video again. Share it, like it, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks.